further information on this and other topics, visit Dr. Davis's website at www.naturalbodyandbalance.com or call 1-877-852-1222. Dr. Davis, tell us a little bit about menopausal weight gain and the inability to lose weight. Yes, absolutely. Again, hormones have are a big player in, in, this, in this subject also. It, it's really a combination of estrogen dominance, and estrogen dominance does not necessarily mean that you have too much estrogen. You can have the right amount of estrogen or even have low estrogen, um, but if you don't have enough progesterone to offset the estrogen, then that's what we call estrogen dominance. So when estrogen is, is dominating over the hormones, estrogen is fat soluble. It's produced in the fat cells and it's stored in the fat cells. So it holds on to those fat cells. Plus the, then the more fat cells we have, the more estrogen we're producing, which holds even more fat, which makes it even harder, right? right? And so the weight gain continues no matter what we're doing, no matter what we're eating, no matter how much you're exercising, the weight gain just continues. And then it's difficult, obviously, to try and lose that weight. So now, in, when you then coral or combine that with sweet and carb cravings, mm. which is also, yes. right, it's a big one for women going through um, hormonal changes, um, and then that adds to the sugar intake, which causes you to be insulin resistant. Mm -hmm. So when you have insulin resistance, which is also a sugar handling issue, right? And you have insulin resistance and estrogen dominance together, it is impossible to lose weight, no matter what you do. So what we need to do is we need to get the insulin resistance and the estrogen dominance under control. And we have awesome products to do that. We have whole food supplements, we have herbs, and we have bioidentical hormones that we can use if necessary to get the, those levels back where they should be, to get the estrogen levels back where it should and to, and to take care of the blood sugar handling problem. So we definitely look at both of those issues, get those back under control, and now women can lose weight. Dr. Davis, could you please explain exactly what estrogen dominance is? Yes, estrogen and progesterone are the two major hormones in, in our, as our sex hormones. And estrogen is, is aggressive, it's stimulating, and progesterone is passive and it's calming. So when estrogen is dominating over progesterone, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you have too much estrogen, you could have too little estrogen um, or just the right amount of estrogen, but if you don't have enough progesterone to offset the effects of estrogen, then that's what we call estrogen dominance. Estrogen's major role is to proliferate cells. So in the beginning of our, our cycle, for women who are still cycling, estrogen does dominate over progesterone at that point because we're, we're proliferating the follicles in order to get a mature egg um, that can ovulate. But then, in the second half of our cycle, progesterone needs to come up and dominate over the estrogen to stop those follicles from producing, because we only want one. And also, in the first half of the cycle, estrogen is causing our uterine lining to build up, build up, build up, build up. And in the second half, progesterone is allowing that to ripen and mature, and then to actually shed. So if estrogen stays dominant throughout the, the cycle, then as it's proliferating cells, that can cause cysts, fibroids, polycystic ovar ovarian syndrome. Um, it can cause heavy bleeding, clotting from building up too much. And certainly, um, if estrogen is constantly proliferating and building up cells, that can then be a, a player in cancers. So estrogen, again, is very, very aggressive. Uh, and progesterone is very passive. So we need those to work together. When they're working together in sync, then everything is balanced and everything is functioning as it should. Did you know it takes um, 30 units of progesterone to offset one unit of estrogen? Oh my gosh, no I didn't know that. <laughs> that that's the difference. That's how aggressive estrogen is and how much progesterone and how important it is that we have estrogen. 
Um, medicine still today does not believe that a woman, when she stops cycling, needs progesterone in her, in her body any longer. And so oftentimes they'll just put her on estrogen only. When here she is probably already estrogen dominant, they put her on even more estrogen. So all we do is, again, we test the hormones. I can't tell you how important it is to have hormones tested so that we know exactly what's high, what's low, what's imbalanced. And, and then we can, we can rebalance those by giving the nutrients, the, the herbs, supplements, and bioidentical hormones if we need to, to get those hormones balanced again so that there is not a dominance of, of either of the hormones. For further information on this and other topics, visit Dr. Davis's website at www.naturalbodyandbalance.com or call 1-877-852-1222.